You know, I always hear men complaining about the friend zone. Do you know what's worse than the friend zone, though? There's something worse that exists for women, and it's called the pen pal zone. Do you know what the fucking pen pal zone is? So the pen pal zone is essentially when a guy is interested in you. He approaches you, he gets your telephone number, and then he initiates the get-to-know-you process via text message, right? Now, there's nothing wrong with the pen pal zone, per se. This is where, like, a lot of pertinent information develops, right? You guys text each other. How old are you? How many kids do you have? Relationship status? What are your interests? What do you like to do? Tell me a little bit about yourself, right? But they never leave the text message state. They just perpetually text you to fucking death. No plans are ever set. These are the men who will literally, like, grand rising queen, how was your day? Good night, beautiful you to fucking death. But every time you guys try to make plans, it's always a mess. They stop texting back. They don't ever actually set any plans. It's we'll play it by ear. We'll see. What are you doing this weekend? Let's link up. But there's never any like concrete plans. Like it's very hard to connect, right? And what's fucked up about it is you just spent time texting this person, getting to know them, getting your hopes up, whatever. And you actually do want to meet with them. But there's only two reasons that they're doing this to you. It's either because they're married or they're poor. Now, me personally, I, I, I offset my risks by not responding after two weeks. You have two weeks of texting me and not making plans or blowing off plans or whatever the case is before I just stop responding. And if you keep texting me after I've ignored like two or three, I'm just going to block you. Now, I know there's going to be a bunch of men in the comments like, well, sometimes blah, 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 trying to like rattle off an exception to the rule. This is a general rule of thumb. If they've been texting, 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 and they're not setting plans with you, they're either married or poor or really just not that into you. And either way you slice it, your best bet is to not respond to them. And the reason I say that the pen pal zone is worse than the friend zone is because the friend zone is intentional. It's voluntary, right? Either you met this girl, you shot your shot, she shot you down, and you chose to play the friend angle, which isn't very friendly, right? Um, or you're too afraid to shoot your shot and you're friends with this woman and you're mad that she doesn't know your intentions or can't read your fucking mind. Either way, the friend zone is somewhere you voluntarily choose to be, whereas the pen pal zone is like a what the fuck? Why would you approach me and ask for my number and tell me you want to link up but never actually set plans? Because, bitch, you're married, you're poor, or you're just a fucking fuckboy. Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But if you find yourself in the pen pal zone, ladies, run!